This demo has four working environments. Each represents different stages and functionalities that you need to develop application. So the first one is the development and UAT environment. It contains all the working parts that we need for this particular project. For instance, we have the broker image or the broker instance that um, becomes the um, message transmitter or the holder of the message in between our, our blockchain services. And we also have the database, um, which contains all the data that uh, inside the traditional banking information. And then we also have all the microservices that's, um, that's needed for this project. This one is the gateway services for our development environment. And this one is the gateway services for our UAT environment. So they each work for a different environment and take in different variables. And then we also have the account and blockchain services, microservices, which works as a base. And we also have the production environment, which becomes, which is more complex because um, we need to take care of a lot of things in production. But what basically it has is, is identical to what we have in the UAT and development environment, which is the broker, the database, and the account microservices, which takes care of the traditional database. And then we also have the gateway and the um, blockchain microservices. The other thing is the GUI workspace, which in this case, it becomes the um, interface that we see and we work with um, for this demo. It represents um, the, working, the working application. And then we also have the pipeline, which takes care of the CIC um, functionalities, which is moving my applications from development, UAT, and then deployment strategies like A-B testing, and then end the A-B testing with um, full-blown production deployments. I'm going to show you how to do HR integration CICD. So first of all, I'm going to make some change into the development environment, build it, and then push that through to UAT and then to um, various different strategies in production. So, um, so what I'm going to start with is to um, change and make a couple of modifications to my application. And to see what's happening is um, what you can do is if you go to the GUI project and click on the link, it's going to take you to the, um, the actual application. Um, so I'm just gonna show you what it looks like. Um, so in the sake of this demo, I'm not going to make a very difficult, complicated envir uh, environmental change. Um, but instead, I'm going to make the changes more obvious by changing the colors by, um, in, well, on top of this logo. So if we go to the development environment URL, which is available here, if we go to the development environment, and if you go to the gateway, the gateway will, will change, will, will provide the colors um, of logos that we provide in this application GUI here. So, um, and then we're gonna make changes in this development environment and then slowly promote it to UIT. I'm going to paste the development URL and then click on the, the link and it's going to show me color green and so what we so i'm just going to open another window over here and then show you the results in uat as well so in our case um the, U, the uat url should be exactly the same but with a uat um, link on it so i'm just going to paste the uat link and then I'm just going to provide um, some API keys and then click on the logo and it's going to give me green. So the colors of development and UAT are both green. And now I'm going to the, um, the, the actual application. So in my application, you will see now it does a lot of things. This is the gateway of my, my microservices gateway. What it does is it takes in a couple of different um, path and then redirect it to the suitable microservices. So as you can see that it takes you to um, get uh, to get the right balances, to get uh, to do uh, bank transfers, and then getting all the profiles and stuff like that. Um, so the current 
modification that we're gonna do is it's gonna we're gonna do a simple one by um, going to the logo routes. So in this logo route, it tells the um, location whether to give a green or a uh, different colors um, in the logo. So in this case, if we click on the last node of our route, it actually returns a um, the actual colors of our scheme. So before it was going green, now I'm just gonna change that to blue. And then I'm going to save it. And what happens now is once I've done the, the modification, I will then push the change onto the uh, local um, version control repository, which is um, GitHub in this case. So I'm just gonna update the changes and then add a comment, change color to blue. And then I'm going to do a commit. So it's pushing my code and then pushing that into my GitHub repository, which is available here. And then you see now it actually changes the, um, the description of changing the color to blue. So now that um, my application should, uh, should return blue. Um, but I, I don't want everything to be done uh, manually. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kick off um, a pipeline. So what this pipeline does, it actually automates um, a couple of things. First of all, builds the image by combining the, repos the source code in my repository and then the base Docker, the base container image, and then create a new image. So it's gonna build that image for me, the immutable image that I'm gonna use later on for other environments as well, and then deploy that into the development environment. So I'm just gonna give a couple of minutes to build So once the build is done, let's take a look at that in um, our environment. As you can see that it's it's now turning off my old environment, my old instance, and then redirecting and starting a new one. So the new one actually comes from the image that I created, um, that I created using the build. So now you can see that I have a this um, gateway services. So this microservices. Uh, image is now uh, newly built for me a couple of seconds ago and then it's going to use this one and then go back to the overview and it's going to start and bring up my microservices so now i have a new gateway services which supposedly should return a blue so let's go back to our environment here and then um, let's replace these services with the um, testing URL, so this is going to the testing URL. And then in, instead of um, returning green, so this one should return blue now. So if I click on the, um, the logo, it's now giving me blue. But if we go back to the UAT URL, which is this one, this one should return a green. Right, so this is still green. So what happens here is that you know I've deployed, I've built my application. So I just wanted to check it manually um, before I promote it into UAT. So um, so what I have here is that um, I can insert a manual pipeline so that people can later on go into the system and then tell the system to proceed if they want it to be. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say, OK, please proceed. And what this does is it's now promoting and deploying that image into the UIT environment. Um, so let's take a look at here. So you know that uh, you can see that now the UIT services before is now shutting down and then starting the new one. But if you take a look at the pipeline here, I'm not building a new um, image uh, for my UAT environment. So instead, what I did here, I'm just gonna turn this off. Uh, what I did here is instead I copied this image that I just built three minutes ago, and then copied that into this UAT image, and then this immutable image is then used and then deployed into my UAT environment, which is um, which is here. 
So now it's time to take uh, see if the change has been made to my UAT environment. So I'm just going to click on the logo again, and then now you see that it's now blue. So that's the uh, pipeline for uh, going from testing to UAT.